All right, another video. Uh, we just finished watching the video talk with Professor Carl Tony Jones, part two. Um, we're gonna go around the room and see people's final thoughts. Um, here's some of my final thoughts. Um, Professor Carl Tony Jones, a uh, very smart, intelligent guy uh, that I enjoy talking with, very informative. I like the fact that he knows a lot about history and that he does not mind uh, giving compliments to other people, me specifically, since I was on the show with him. Um, but him talking about how black people have been dehumanized since they came to America is very pertinent to understanding why black people behave the way that they do today. A lot of the reasons why black people physically fight each other a lot and why you see a lot of blacks in combat sports like boxing is because we're put in an impoverished state where you have to fight for survival. And if any organism is not given enough resources, they're gonna fight and do everything they can to get those resources, even attack themselves or other people less like them. And again, we see that in combat sports. We see that with family disputes, with disputes throughout the black community. We see people who don't have enough of what they need and they will hurt anybody in their way because it's not simply because they're poor, but because they are told that what they should value is money, material wealth fame, attention, views on the internet. Since those are the things that we are told we should value, then we do not value human interaction as much. We do not value respect, loyalty, and love as much as we respect um, material things. Um, and, and that is seen throughout the history of this country because this country was started by people stealing land, defrauding people, and, and, and murdering people, and, and putting them in a state of desperation so that they could continue to profit off of those people they're holding down. And I think Professor Carl Tony Jones did an excellent job of uh, saying that in his way, and that was my way of saying it. So we're gonna go around the room and see what everybody else had to say. And we're gonna start with the youngest. All right, what's your final thoughts of the other video? Mm. <clears throat> My man thinking, you cooking up something good? Why not? Talk to me. What you got? What you thinking? What's your thoughts? Just tell me what you're thinking now. What you thinking now? Mm -hmm. What's running through your head? Nothing. Nothing. I find that hard to believe. You cannot give me one thing from this whole video. One thing that you liked about the video. Yeah, come on. Something. Um, Move your hand. Speak up. That, um... Here we go. The... The... What, what was one thing that was talked about on the video? The dehumanizing people. All right. What? Yes, yeah, 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 say it, say it loud, say it again. De uh, dehumanizing people. All right, and what does that mean to dehumanize somebody? Take away their the culture. Take away their culture, good, perfect, good job. Do you think that's good to take away somebody's culture? No. Good, okay, man, who's the next? You the next right. one. Uh, I think the dehumanization thing is very true on how, like, uh, black people were uh, came here and, like, changed their culture like their language and how they do stuff in Africa and stuff. I think that's very true. And that's all I really got to say. All right. What you got? Oh, I got that uh, as like as black people, that we need to work together to get to our common goal instead of trying to fight each other. Like if like one person wants a piece of chicken, and he fights another person for a piece of chicken. But if they both work together, they can get two pieces of chicken. They get one chicken each. And everybody has enough. So everybody okay. works together. Okay. 
Yeah. What you got? That was a nice, that's an example. Um, fighting for chicken. Yeah. Black people fighting for chicken. Like and, the and watermelon Popeye. too? Watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> like the Popeye's incident? Like the Popeye's, yeah. We, <laughs> all right. Um, I I think the video like pointed out how like as a the, as a black community, like we've like gone forward, but then we've also like regressed. And in order for us to find like that the best medium, we'll have to take something like really personal and really, really um, something for like ourselves to reach that point where like we're better and we we don't like contradict ourselves and we don't like give false hope and like we raise better communities. Mm. How do you think we can raise better communities? Um, I would say like. Try not to focus on materialistic things mm. and focusing on our like the children, even if they're not our children, we could still help them because we're all a family. And like back when like it wasn't like like back when it wasn't so much like people were so idealistic and ignorant, like we got together as communities and helped each other. I think we should go back to that because everyone needs help. So so to fix the, so what do families need to do then? They need to start talking more and mm. getting together and coming to understandings, even if they they don't all agree. It, it's still good to come together. Facts. All right, thank you. What you got? Okay, so what I learned it was to learn the full history of things and, like, not just hear parts that were taught, but also, like, it was talking about loitering and, like, cash crops or, yeah, share, share crops. Share crops. That's, yeah. that's what we were talking about. Yeah, it wasn't on the video, per well, se, but we talked about sharing. We talked about them. Yeah. But it's just, like, also about money and also to not tear each other down. And it's not, like, yes, we've had a fight against each other, but, like, we shouldn't do that now or think that we don't need, um, like, a parental figure in our lives or, like, we don't need, like, to be alone and that causing it and like fighting against each other is just making it worse and it's just there's no good outcome in trying to fight what's like each other when we should all like what should we do because uh, are you saying we can get rid of fights totally I mean I don't think it's I feel like there's better ways to handle a situation than trying to throw hands at people cause like, oh I'm sorry when I say fights I mean, verbal and physical fights. Do you uh, think we can get rid of both? No. All right, so then what should we be doing then? Since we can't get rid of it. Communicate. And I'm going to come to you. What do you think? You said something like that, too. Can, can we get rid of verbal and physical fights? No. So then what should, what's something we should be focused on? Then? Communicating, like agreeing to disagree and just coming together and talking. Cause a little, so settling conflict. Better. Yes, because a little communication goes a long way. Cool. All right, you got something to add? Or? I mean, I was going to say, like, communication, but also, like, I mean, I don't think he really talked about it, but, like, education and, like, talking to, like, a community and all coming together. And when you communicate about things, everybody knows what you're thinking or, like, issues you can... So conflict resolution skills. Yeah. We need to work on that, you think? Yeah. I, or I instead think. of trying to, like, think there's only, like one answer and only one solution because you think you're right is not the way to go about it. So being things. okay with multiple different yeah. solutions. Okay. Alright, Mom, what you got? Mom, final thoughts. Oh, final thought. I tell you, Professor Jones and Mr. Smith, aka Teacher Mr. Smith, was excellent. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's something that all young people need to listen and hear. Because it's, it's your history and it's, it sums it all up in one. And the main thing is education and communication from the home. Mm -hmm. So I did appreciate it and enjoyed it. All right. Well, I got another, I got another final word. I want to thank my mom for allowing this to happen because the leaders of the house, they set the tone. And like she said, she's always been big on education. She used to make me write words and definitions from the dictionary. And I hated it at the time, but 
<laughs> increased my vocabulary and I'm appreciative of that. And I'm appreciate, I appreciate how much uh, she values education and, uh, and allows this to happen because it couldn't happen without her. Right, mom? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your mother. That's what yeah. she used to always say, say it for we, me. We started all over and we had two adopted children here now, but the third one's gone with my husband. Uh huh. So we still do the same tools that we had with you guys is education, knowledge is power. But you, you got to say, listen to your mother. That's oh, what you always listen say. Listen to your mother. Always listen to your mother. <laughs> She's been through it all and she knows it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's laugh, but they don't know it all. Don't you listen to that woman right there. <laughs> well, thank you, Ma. I love you. I love you more. And, and I love all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs>